नमस्कार आई एम प्रोफेसर मानसी ठाकुर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी अ वॉर्म वेलकम फॉर दिस सेशन ऑफ एंशियंट इंडियन क्राफ्टमैनशिप Craftsmanship refers to the skill, artistry, and expertise involved in creating or producing objects by hand. The history of handicrafts in India dates back to five thousand BC, that is around seven thousand years ago. Handicrafts are an extensive representation of a region or nation's history and culture. Throughout centuries, craft have been embedded as a culture and tradition within rural Indian communities. Let's see types of crafts: pottery, jute work, textile weaving, wood work, leather work, and many more. The list is endless. Significance of craftsmanship in ancient Indian society: traditional crafts have been passed down from one generation to another, preserving the skills and knowledge of ancient artisans. they have cultural heritage and identif- identity they signify religious and spiritual symbolism they have artistic and aesthetic excellence they contribute to the economy of the country and also have social and ethical values the economic impact of ancient crafts in india the handicraft sector plays a significant role in providing employment and have provided livelihood to over 6 million artisans crafts have always been the driving force of our economy since ancient times as india has a beautiful talent and many available sources let's see few important crafts like pottery terracotta art textile weaving fabric dyeing metal work and jewelry making in brief topic 2 pottery in ancient india ancient indian pottery is one of the earliest forms of craftsmanship in indian subcontinent dating back to indus valley civilization the pottery here reflects the technological advancements aesthetic sensibilities and daily life of ancient civilization types of potteries the harappan pottery which was made from the fast wheel then the painted grey ware associated with the vedic period that is about 3000 years ago from today this pottery was in grey and painted with simple black designs third type of pottery of ancient india is northern black polished ware this is a high quality glossy pottery emerged during mauryan empire and terracotta figurines terracotta was used to create figurines often representing deities animals or human forms techniques used in pottery a variety of techniques were used and evolved over time reflecting advancements in craftsmanship and technology coiling and pinching is one of the very commonly used technique then molding potter's wheel another commonly used technique burnishing and clean firing firing helps improve the strength and durability of the pottery so these are the various techniques used in making pottery usage and significance of pottery it has a very functional use that is used for cooking food holding liquids or serving as household items it can be used for decoration it also has cultural significance and a great historical value as pottery is a valuable archaeological artifact that provides insights into the history of human societies we can see pottery or the ancient pottery has influenced many recent and modern designs topic 3 terracotta art in ancient india Terracotta refers to objects made from clay that were shaped, sun-dried, and fired using hands. Techniques used in terracotta: it is made from locally available clay. It is hand-shaped, molded, and simple tools are used. 
techniques like throwing and handling are used for making the products. Let's see examples of ancient terracotta artifacts. Bengal terracotta. Bengal was a major center for terracotta art, especially in temple architecture, where intricate panels were used to depict stories from Hindu epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata. Another example is Bisnupur terracotta architecture. It is located in West Bengal and it's flourished during the rule of Malla dynasty at the 7th century. We can see beautiful terracotta work over the walls and the pillars of this temple. Aesthetic and cultural significance of terracotta art. In India, terracotta clay is also known as matki mitti and holds a special place in cultural practices. It is molded into religious icons, idols, and figurines that hold deep spiritual significance in Indian culture. Terracotta also have influenced the modern art and it is used for murals, for decorative architecture, and for producing lifestyle products today. Moving to the next topic of textile weaving in ancient India. Textile weaving is the process of interlacing two sets of threads or yarns at right angles to create a fabric. The Indus Valley civilization was the center of textile production in India. That is around 5,000 years ago, we were the center for textile production. The handiwork of Indian weavers were taken back to Rome, China and Egyptian markets for selling them. Even today, weavers in Indian textiles are still held in high esteem and considered as textile perverts. Let's see different types of weaving techniques. Plain weave, twill weave, satin weave, basket weave, lino cut weave. Cultural significance of weaving patterns. Every state in India and Indian subcontinent have a specific traditional textile and weaving pattern. They signify the religious symbols, have a social and cultural identity. They are very important for marriage and festivals and have a spiritual notation to them. Role of textile weaving in the economy. Today, weaving remains the important of India's economy with roughly around 4.3 million people involved in it. This industry is providing second largest employment after agricultural sector. The export of textile of India is targeted to touch around 185 billion US dollars by the end of this year. Let's see weaving patterns of various Indian states. Patola from Gujarat, Kani from Kashmir, Guddu or Gadu from Assam, Venkatgiri from Andhra Pradesh, Khandagi from Tamil Nadu, Kunbi from Goa, Irkal from Karnataka, Sambalpuri from Urissa and Paitani from Maharashtra. Topic 5. Dyeing techniques in ancient India. Dyeing is the process of applying color to textile materials such as fabrics, yarns or fibers using natural or synthetic dyes. In ancient India, textile dyeing was a, India's, was a part of India's rich cultural heritage showcasing a deep understanding of natural dyes and traditional textiles. Indian dyers used a variety of plants, minerals, and insects to produce brilliant, long-lasting colors. Let's see a few natural materials used to make dyes. The very famous indigo dye, which is made from indigo plant and produces a vibrant blue color. The madder, madder is a plant root used to create red hues. Turmeric, the plant is produced to create or produce a bright yellow dye. Lac, lac is derived from secretion of an insect and it produces shades of red. 
pomegranate rind pomegranate skin is used to produce shades of yellow and green saffron is used to produce golden yellow to orange colors dyeing techniques in ancient india resist dye bandhani a tie and dye technique is still practiced in parts of gujarat and rajasthan where fabric is tied tightly in small sections as we can see in figure 1 and then they are dipped in the dye shown in picture 2 the tied part resists the dye leaving a pattern when untied you can see the final output in picture 3 then lehriya another tie and dye technique specific to rajasthan it creates a wave like pattern on fabric ikkat it is a technique where the yarns are tied and dyed before weaving this results in a characteristic blurry design ikkat is popular from the regions like orissa andhra pradesh and gujarat the second dyeing technique is block printing Ancient Indians also used hand carved wooden blocks to apply resist paste before dyeing. To even today we use block printed fabrics like jaipuri fabrics. Demand of traditional Indian textiles in global market. Indian fab fabrics are in huge demand because of their appeal rooted in the country's rich textile traditions natural dyeing techniques and distinctive designs cultural heritage sustainable fashion and high quality have made indian fabrics very popular in the entire world topic 6 metal work in ancient india metal work refers to the process of creating objects from various metals Metal craft in India dates back to the Indus Valley civilization. The discovery of dancing girl sealed the fact that the people of the subcontinent were masters at molding metals since a long period. The techniques used in metal work are casting, forging, engraving, ropes, welding and soldering. outstanding metal marvels of india let's see few brilliant examples of metal work from ancient india the iron pillar of delhi this is a 7.2 meter tall iron pillar built around 1600 years ago in the honor of king chandragupta 2 and is it and is inscribed with sanskrit text text this pillar is known for its rust resistant properties that means standing for this long time this iron pillar does not show any kind of rusting and this pillar is a symbol of india's advanced knowledge of iron production and corrosion resistance the dokra art this is a traditional metal casting techniques technique using the lost wax method dokra sculptures from west bengal odisha and chatisgarh are very well known we can see the dancing girl from indus valley civilization was made from the same technique the chola bronze sculptures the very famous nataraja of the chola dynasty is a beautiful example of metal work during that period the gupta era coins the gupta empire was known for issuing some of the finest gold coins in ancient india these coins symbolize the economic prosperity of gupta empire and serve as a testament to india's early advancements in coin minting and metallurgy another outstanding marvel is the hoysala metal sculptures the hoysala dynasty in karnataka was known for its fine metal sculptures that are used in temples featuring intricate carvings of hindu deities role of metal work in society metal art has been important part of indian culture for centuries metallurgy has been given a special place in indian culture since ancient times even today every state of india you will find at least one famous metal art Metal idols are available in every temple, which is a unique piece of art in itself. Economic importance: 
the metal art industry provides employment to a large number of people in India. It provides source of income for many families and helps maintain traditional art forms also. Topic 7, Jewelry Making in Ancient India. The history of ancient jewelry and history of India almost date back to the same time. Pebbles, animal skins, shells, threads, crystals or stones were common components of ancient jewelry. History of ancient Indian jewelry. India was the world's leading producer and exporter of beads at that time. The diamond and the diamond drill were both created in India, which were later taught to the Romans by us. The ancient inhabitants of Indus Valley civilization were incredibly intellectual group of people with fine intricate engineering abilities. The example that is shown here is a necklace that is lined with pendants made up of banded agate and jade beads that are strung by a thick gold thread passing through each bead which was precisely drilled whole. So this was the kind of artistry done 5,000 years ago in India. The consistency of the design is another outstanding feature of jewelries of India. The designs made in ancient times, we are still following those designs and using them as classics or traditional wear. The paintings at Ajanta show a variety of jewellery worn by men and women. And all these jewellery was made during the ancient time. An old Tamil classic text recounts Indian civilization that traded in gold, pearl and precious stones. Even a book by Portuguese travel mentions dazzling jewellery worn by the inhabitants of the Vijayanagara empire. We can see the jewellery worn the same jewellery worn by a group of Devi Dasis. The jewellery belongs to the Vijayanagara Empire. The beautiful diamond necklace of Queen Elizabeth II was given by a ruler of Andhra Pradesh when she wed Prince Philip in 1947. Materials used for jewellery in ancient India. Ancient Indian jewellery used a variety of materials such as gold, silver, copper, precious and semi-precious stones like diamonds, rubies, emeralds, pearls and beads made from materials like terracotta and glass for making excellent jewellery. Techniques used for jewellery making are granulation, filigree work, that is the jali work, engraving, and enameling. These techniques varied across regions and different time periods. Evolution of Jewellery Ancient India had a rich heritage of or history of jewellery due to several factors like abundant natural resources. We had a lots of precious stones available in India. You can see the picture of a gold mine in Golconda region of Karnataka. Then we had a lot of skilled craftsmanship. Had we had diverse regional styles and trade and exchange in, in India played a key role in global trade networks, including the Silk Road, which facilitated the exchange of materials and techniques enriching its jewelry tradition. These factors combined to make India a hub for sophisticated jewellery, blending artistry with cultural heritage. Significance of jewellery in Indian culture. Cultural and religious significance. It also have, has wealth and prestige symbol. Certain jewelry pieces are deeply associated with the marriage ceremonies. Cultural identity. Different regions in India have different cultural identities. In a sense, jewelry in India is far more than an ornament, but and it symbolizes identity, faith, love, tradition, and wealth at the same time. 
role of jewelry making in the economy jewelry market made a significant contribution to the ancient indian economy through trade employment and craftsmanship and wealth circulation in the form of religious and royal patronage even today the jewelry market in india plays a significant role in country's economy and is the second largest consumer of gold in world accounting for approximately 25% of the global demand so it employs a huge population of india serving as craftsmen manufacturers and retailers topic 8 craftsmanship and archaeology archaeology is the study of ancient and recent human past through material remains craftsmanship provides archaeologists with valuable evidences about the technological cultural and economic aspect of ancient societies by studying the skill and artistry embedded in artifacts researchers gain a deeper understanding of past human experiences technological innovations and cultural inter interactions this is a recent example that a 1000 year old shaishavi vishnu was found in maharashtra's buldhana district in june 2024 by archaeological survey of india we could learn about only few types of crafts in india from the endless list of jewelry making textile weaving block printing embroidery wood carving stone carving metal work pottery carpet weaving painting leather craft glass ware paper mache cane and bamboo work lacquer ware and much more let's see restoration and preservation of these crafts preserving and restoring ancient crafts is important because it safeguards our cultural heritage maintains traditional knowledge supports artisanal livelihoods and fosters a connection between past and present generations restoration should be done but it should be done in scientific methods by the experts only innovations to encourage the craftsmanship india has introduced several innovations to encourage and promote craftsmanship including the various schemes like government schemes then collaborating with e-commerce platforms like amazon karigar flipkart samarth then founding national institute of design where students can learn about design geographical identification tags that is the gi tags they protect traditional crafts and help market them globally by recognizing their unique origin like kolhapuri chappals the ratnagiri hapos etc then collaborating with the designers partnerships between artisans and contemporary fashion designers promote handicrafted products in the global market artisans credit card and finance financial assistance schemes and easy loans for artisans to help sustain and grow their businesses these steps are taken by the government and the people to encourage craftsmanship so these in initiatives help preserve traditional crafts while encouraging innovations market access and sustainability to our artists these are the few examples of modern products using traditional arts take away from the session India has a heritage of craftsmanship that reflects the soul of its people from the intricate patterns of hand woven textiles to delicacy delicate artistry of pottery and beautiful traditional jewelry each craft tells a story of its origin techniques and the skilled artisans behind it it is our responsibility to preserve and promote indian craftsmanship which lies within each of us one of the most impactful ways to contribute is by consciously supporting local artisans through our purchases let us take pride in our heritage celebrate our artisans and weave the vibrant threads of our cultural identity into the fabric of the future together we can safeguard this invaluable treasure and pass it on to the generations yet to come thank you